Hello everyone, I am Dr. Adil Zia and I am making series of lectures on the topic related to marketing communications. Today's lecture is the introductory lecture for chapter number one. In the coming lectures, I will be discussing various topics that are related to marketing communications. Let me tell you as it is the introductory chapter it will be covering the six topics that are mentioned in front of you seventh topic will be discussed in chapter 2 and eighth will be discussed in chapter 3 all the other topics that will be covered will be discussed first of all we have to understand that the organization before going for the marketing has to look what are its strategic goals that in turns depends upon the segmentation and targeting, positioning and differentiation, and the value proposition. And all these things have to be seen in the context of the revenue and the profit of the organization, competition that it is facing, organization working style, industry or the organization related feedback. Now all these things have a direct or indirect impact on the marketing perspective. Now here I have mentioned the four P's of marketing which is commonly known as marketing mix, product and service, place which I have mentioned here as channel of distribution, price and promotion. We have to understand that in this marketing communications we will be emphasizing more on the promotion aspect. In many books you will find that this promotion is written as the marketing communications and we are going to discuss that what are the different means and the modes of marketing communication which are related to promotion and how it is being used to make the brand and finally it transfer the message to the customers. Now looking into the definition, I have mentioned here marketing communications and integrated marketing communications. Here in the definition there are two words. One is marketing and the second communication. In business, communication means I am talking about the transfer of message from the sender to the receiver. When the organization tries to pass the message of its products or service to the customer, it is called communication. And if there are different methods, there are different means, there are different modes which are being used to communicate to pass this message. Now this communication needs various mediums, various modes and we will look into it. If we look into the formal definition, it is the means by which an organization attempts to inform and persuade customers about the products and services it offers to its customers. So there are two more important things that you have to look into when you go for communication is information and the persuading aspect of persuading aspect of the organization that how this organization is able to persuade the customers to purchase the product or service and how it is able to inform now if I take an example of a company wants to inform its customer that my mobile phone is better than the other company mobile phones or if they want to inform that we are coming up with a new version of the mobile phone or latest mobile phone so that aspect that aspect is related to information it is not related to persuading for persuasion we try to communicate the message that this product which we are launching is better than the other. So for that 
persuasion we can use a different method of communication and for information we may use a different method of communication there is another definition which says that it is a process by which information about an organization and its offering is disseminated to the selected markets now if we look into the integrated marketing communication it is integration and coordination of communication channels like when we talk about more than one channels of distribution or when we talk about more than one methods of communication we are talking about the audio video or a combination of both audio and video we can say it is integration we are integrating more than one method of communication so it becomes integrated marketing communication and it is also called communication mix when we try to mix the different methods and try to use it it is also known by the name of blended in advertising like in print media we try to inform the customer about the latest launch of the product new product or a service at the same time we can use the radio or the internet to pass the video of that latest launch so we are using a mix or a combination of more than one methods of communication for the promotion of our product or a service so it becomes a communication mix it consists of a specific blend of advertising sales promotion public relations personal selling direct marketing tools that the company uses to communicate with their customers and build customer relationships the next important aspect is related to the role of marketing communication we can understand that there are many roles just imagine there is a company going to launch a new product maybe a car maybe a mobile phone or anything else if they are not able to communicate that message to their prospect customer how they will earn sales how they will earn profits so it is very important for the organizations to select the right communication mix for example let me give you one real life example where the organizations make mistakes in deciding the communication method now in communication if the organization is planning to launch a latest mobile phone and they are communicating it by sending only the text message or if we say marketing communication by selecting only the text message related to the latest launch of the mobile phone what do you consider it is it the right strategy or it should be a mix of different communication methods now according to my understanding when anybody wants to purchase a mobile phone the reason or the cues to purchase a mobile phone is not only that it is a latest phone but also its looks how it looks how is the design how is the color how is the shape all these things are also important so for communicating the marketing company or the organization if they are selecting only the text message is the wrong strategy they have to adapt that technology through which they can inform the prospect customers about the latest design or by showing the latest design they can persuade their customer about the product or the service in case of mobile phone the pictures or the videos are very important to sell that product so they have to select the right communication right communication tools or the right com communication method second is 
represent the voice of the company and its brands. When companies they try to sell their products or a service, they are not only selling the product, they are also selling the brands, brands which are coming from the known company. If a well-established company tries to sell a new product and the name is written, name is famous. For example, Pepsi company is going to launch a new product. It's well known. Apple company going to launch a new product. It's well known. So whenever you do the activity of communication, you try to communicate that it's it's coming from well-established company. So it also represents the voice of the company and its brands. Now to build and maintain relationship with stakeholders as well. This is also a very very important factor. When we talk about the marketing communication, actually you are communicating with the customers, you are talking. And when you interact with the customers, you are trying to maintain a relationship and you are trying to make and maintain that relationship relationships for the benefit of the organization in terms of the feedbacks as well as for the benefits of customers to understand their specific needs and requirements and when you understand the specific needs and requirements of the organization of the customers it helps in building profitable customer relationships and when we try to find out the importance of uh, keeping the old customers or the loyal customers we can understand that they help us in developing a good product by giving the right feedback we can do the pricing effectively and when we understand what are the target customers need we can make them available for the specific customers so by all these methods, the organizations try to communicate, try to transfer, try to send the message of the company's products and services to its prospect customers. There are different modes of marketing communication. I have mentioned here eight modes of marketing communication. First is advertising, sales promotion, events and experiences, public relations and publicity, direct marketing, interactive marketing, word of mouth marketing and personal selling. And we will try to understand the importance of all these different modes one by one. Let me make it very clear that these modes of marketing communications can be clubbed together and used simultaneously. The simultaneous use of more than one method of communication is called marketing communication mix where the organization tries to use advertising, sales promotion, events and experiences together or any other combination. For example, if a company is going to launch a new mobile phone, it can use advertising on the print and electronic media. At the same time, it can also go for the sales promotion by giving some discounts. Mostly on the eatable items, we find that the companies, they try to give some sales promotion by giving percentage discounts. On FMCG products we see sales promotion the advertising is trying to increase the sales but for the information you have to attach the sales promotion with the advertising in order to make it more effective if you have an advertising and sales promotion together it may be more beneficial for the organization rather than using only one method of communication. So 
we can understand that companies they use more than one method of marketing communication together now with the changing marketing communication environment the method adopted by the organizations are also changing the technology and other factors have profoundly changed the way consumers process communications and even whether they choose to process them at all we have to understand that there is a rapid change in the communication environment and these are some of the important points which make this communication environment a dynamic environment we have 24/7 access to the customers which means that nowadays we can interact we can communicate with our customers with our prospect customers 24/7 whenever we want we have their email ids contact numbers we have the access to their accounts through social media we have uh, the whatsapp we have in snapchat facebook instagram all these methods can be used to access the information and reach the customers which is really changing the way companies used to interact with its customers no time restraint like on tv or on radio there was a time restraint there was a limit to the time of advertising only short ads can be shown on the television or on radio but now with the availability of internet the organization can plan to have more bigger more informative advertisements we have two way communication by the internet all customers can directly interact with the organizations they can send message they can write queries they can ask questions from the direct companies we have the direct contact with the end users the companies also can interact directly to the end user direct and fact feedback system is there we have a feedback system where the customers can directly send their messages send their liking or disliking to the company without any hindrance without any barrier low cost of communication is there when we try to interact with the customers with the use of internet the cost of communication is very low so we can reach to maximum number of customers or the prospects with the least cost interact interested or probable customers we can easily do that with the help of algorithms or with the help of technology there is a high competition is there and the changing consumer expectations so all these are very very important aspects related to the changing marketing communications environment and i hope you have understood the first introductory lecture in the coming times i'll be posting more such lectures on the other topics thank you very much